Some time ago, a friend of mine who was teaching first grade asked some students to help her distribute papers. Those of you who remember your first grade years or have little brothers and sisters or children in first grade know that they produce a, quite a volume of paperwork. So Ms. Tranner said to the little girl, honey, if you'll lick your finger, it'll stick to the pages and you can sort those pages faster. Ms. Tranner looked back some minutes later and the sweet little girl was going, My brother Lynn was teaching his son to bat a ball. He was little and was having trouble holding up the tip of the heavy bat. Lynn kept saying, choke up, choke up, and you can hit it. But despite his repeated counsel, his son did not slide his hands closer to the middle of the bat. When Lynn got closer to the batter to show him where to put his hands, he realized that each time he had called, up, he had called out, choke up, his son was <laughs> and continued to swing the bat. After President and Sister Bateman's devotional a few weeks ago, I had a concern. Sister Bateman and I are both vertically challenged. We are about the same height, and President Bateman, who is over six feet tall, is conducting today. I was concerned I would have a problem with the height of the podium and the teleprompter. I was assured the problem would be taken care of Thank you, President Bateman, for, good, for conducting today's devotional on your knees. <laughs> now, I'm sure all of you have worn a pair of sunglasses. That really shuts out the light. I don't see anything now. Need I say more? Now, this next pair, these are really fun. If they turn out the lights, they glow in the dark. But there's no lenses inside, so they really don't help me at all see anything. <laughs> but they've been a really a fun icebreaker at parties when we turn out the lights, and um, it starts the conversation up really fun. But they don't help my vision at all. Now this last pair. When I put these on, it's not even me. <laughs> <laughs> 